Just remember, lover boy. She said, be nice to everybody you pass on your way up, cause you just might have to pass them again on your way down. Not if you pay attention. I mean, you're sending all the right signals, no earrings, heels under two inches, your hair is pulled back, you're wearing reading glasses with no book, drinking a grey goose martini, which means you had a hell of a week and a beer just wouldn't do it. And if that wasn't clear enough, there's always the f off sign that you have stamped on your forehead. The only thing that I see that is distinctly different about me is, I am not afraid to die on a treadmill. You might have more talent than me, you might be smarter than me, but if we get on the treadmill together, there's two things. You are getting off first, or I am going to die. It's that simple. Running and reading are the keys of life. Greatness is not this wonderful, esoteric, elusive, godlike feature that only the special among us will ever taste. It's something that truly exists in all of us. It's respectable to lose to the universe. It's a tragedy to lose to yourself. How we decide to respond to our fears, that is the person we become. I decided to be funny. The thing I've learned over the years about advice is that no one can accurately predict the future, but we all think we can. So advice at its best is one person's limited perspective of the infinite possibilities before you. People's advice is based on their fears, their experiences, their prejudices, and at the end of the day, their advice is just that, it's theirs not yours. I want to say something that I want you to remember for the rest of your life, okay? I want you to listen closely. I'm giving you a key to life right now, this is the key to life. The key to life, the key to life is running and reading, alright? Now listen very seriously, the key to life is running and reading. Right now, why running? When you're running and you are there and you're running there's a little person that talks to you and that little person says, Oh, I'm tired. My lounge is about to pop. I'm so hurt. I'm so tired. There's no way I can possibly continue. And you want to quit. Right? That person. If you learn how to defeat that person when you're running you will learn how to not quit when things get hard in your life. Running, oh right? That's the first key to life. Reading. The reason the reading is so important. There've been millions and billions and billions and gazillions of people that have lived before all of us. There's no new problem you can have with your parents, with school, with a bully, with anything. There's no problem you can have that someone hasn't already solved and wrote about it in a book. So the keys to life are running and reading. If you're absent during my struggle, don't expect to be present during my success. To place the responsibility for your happiness on anybody other than yourself is a recipe for misery. Danger is real, fear is a choice. Fear is not real. The only place that fear can exist is in our thoughts of the future. It is the product of our imagination, causing us to fear things that do not at present and may not ever exist. That is near insanity. Now do not misunderstand me. Danger is very real, but fear is a choice. Life is like school, with one key difference. In school you get the lesson, and then you take the test. But in life, you get the test, and it's your job to take the lesson. There's two kinds of people in this world. There's hammers and nails. You decide what to be. 
Don't chase people. Be yourself, do your own thing, and work hard. The right people the ones who really belong in your life will come to you and stay. We're all waiting until we have deep knowledge, wisdom, and a sense of certainty before we venture forth. But we've got it backward, venturing forth is how we gain the knowledge. If you are unwilling or unable to pivot and adapt to the incessant, fluctuating tides of life, you will not enjoy being here. Sometimes, people try to play the cards that they wish they had, instead of playing the hand they've been dealt. The capacity to adjust and improvise is arguably the single most critical human ability. Smiling is the best way to face every problem, to crush every fear, and to hide every pain. And the secret to my success is as boring as it is unsurprising. You show up and you lay another brick. Pissed off? Lay another brick. Bad opening weekend? Lay another brick. Album sales dropping? Get up and lay another brick. Marriage failing? Lay another brick. Confucius had it right, it's nearly impossible for the quality of your life to be higher than the quality of your friends. I believe you need to be educated about what you want to do in life, but I don't believe you actually need college to get you there. The question is, can we love each other unconditionally, or is our love contingent upon the other person acting exactly as we need them to? It's easy to love somebody when they do what you want them to do, exactly how you want them to do it. But how do you behave when they step outside of your picture? How do you treat them when they hurt you? Those are the times that determine whether or not you actually love somebody. The thing about money, sex, and success is that when you don't have them, you can justify your misery, shit. If I had money, sex, and success, I'd feel great. However misguided that may be, it psychologically permeates as hope. But once you are rich, famous, successful, and you're still insecure and unhappy, the terrifying thought begins to lurk, maybe the problem is me. Choosing the city you live in is as important as choosing your life partner. People's advice is based on their fears, their experiences, their prejudices, and at the end of the day, their advice is just that, it's theirs, not yours. When people give you advice, they're basing it on what they would do, what they can perceive, on what they think you can do. But the bottom line is, while yes, it is true that we are all subject to a series of universal laws, patterns, tides, and currents, all of which are somewhat predictable, you are the first time you've ever happened. You and now are a unique occurrence, of which you are the most reliable measure of all the possibilities. No matter what you're going through, there is always another brick sitting right there in front of you, waiting to be laid. The only question is, are you going to get up and lay it?